Hi, I'm Bob Gallagher, the mayor of the city of Vettendorf, Iowa. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. In honor of Public Works Week, we're here at our Public Works Department to talk about how COVID-19 has changed public works and what we're doing here in the city of Bettendorf to overcome the challenges created by this pandemic. I'm here with our Public Works Director, Brian Schmidt. Brian. Thank you, Your Honor. Thanks for having us out mm -hmm. at Public Works. Your department is charged with delivering excellent quality service to our city. And when a pandemic like COVID-19 comes, mm -hmm. certain changes have to be made. What did you guys have to do and gals in the public works department as a result of COVID-19? That's a great question. So one of the things too that people need to understand is that we never really stopped any of the quality services that we do provide to the citizens. It's just the way that we provide them. Obviously the biggest thing was to encourage social distancing amongst all of our crews. Uh, the first and foremost thing was is that we developed staggering work shifts for our crews that were, uh, we would actually have our, uh, currently right now we have our sanitation department actually beginning at 6 a.m., our sewers department beginning at uh, 6.30, and then our uh, streets department actually beginning at 7 a.m. Uh, this was, uh, because they do share a common locker room, break room, and time clock punching in and out, um, we wanted to create that social distancing to protect our employees. Sure. One of the biggest changes that we've seen, obviously, is in, in solid waste. Uh, solid waste, we had to make some changes because uh, typically on the back of a rear load truck, we actually have a driver and two um, employees that are on the back of the truck that are actually picking up yard waste or bulky waste out of, off of residences' property. So what we've done is uh, we actually still have the driver in the vehicle, but we actually uh, encouraged each of those employees that would typically ride on the back of the vehicle to ride in another city vehicle following them. So that was one of the changes that we had to impose. To distance that, those people. To from distance one those people from one another. Huh. Uh, so what we also have done is the employees are uh, encouraged and um, uh, to wash and you know, clean and sanitize and disinfect the vehicles before and after each. Shift. Even garbage trucks and those kinds of things are sanitized. Even the garbage trucks, the wheels, the inside, sure. and everything like that. Another thing too with our transit buses is, is that we uh, what we've done is we've actually added a plexiglass shield to separate the driver uh, from the citizens as well when they're coming in and out. So all kinds of different changes yes. that relate to the social distancing, the Iowa Department of Public Health and the governor have suggested that we follow. That is correct. So on behalf of the citizens, thank you for that. I know some of your routes for a time uh, frame began at 4 a.m. Right. How did your staff uh, take those changes? Right. Well, as I just mentioned, we, we've now switched it to 6 a.m. We initially right. started it at 4 a.m. And the reason for that is you got to think, though, too, the crews came in. Uh, it was basically garbage and recycling crews came in at 4 a.m., but they really weren't on their route until probably around 5 a.m. Okay. Uh, it's because initially when this pandemic started, we just noticed that uh, the garbage and the bulky waste and everything was so heavy. Um, Lots of people putting, a lot of people Lots putting of stuff out. A lot of people home, are home, cleaning out their houses, taking it to the curb. So uh, by picking it up earlier, it allowed us to work with our existing staff, sometimes into an overtime situation. Because our, um, uh, our landfill and our MRF, the manufacturing and recycling facility over there in Davenport, is only open uh, for, you know, was only open from 8 a.m. to, I believe, 4 p.m. in the evening. So we actually had to uh, have those crews start early so that when it was heavy, that after we picked it up, we were able to get it back to uh, the landfill or to the MRF. Great. So this week is Public Works Week, right. and I had the honor on Tuesday of proclaiming the same here in the city of Bettendorf. Mm -hmm. We always have a great Public Works Day where mm -hmm. kids come out and see the trucks, grab a hot dog, mm -hmm. climb on things, and learn what it's like to be a Public Works employee. Right. And that was scheduled for this Saturday. Obviously, that's been canceled. Talk to me about Public Works Day and why it's important to you. Well, it is so important to us because uh, one of the things, too, it's important to note is that the city of Bettendorf's Public Works Department is an accredited agency. And Public Works Week uh, is uh, recognized um, through the American Public Works Association always on the third uh, week in May. It is in recognition of all those men and women who provide quality services um, such as design, construction, and maintenance of the, of the vital infrastructure of our cities to um, improve the quality of life of our city. So it's, it's just kind of a recognition to them 
and honoring them and, you know, and showing them the respect that we have for the, the, the jobs that they do. And, the, and uh, it allows us to have the citizens come to the Public Works Department to see the vehicles and see the employees and, uh, and interact and we provide them lunch as well. So this year, because we're not gonna be able to social distance that many people or that size of a crowd, we're gonna do a virtual event. Right. Tell me about that. Well, just like you were saying, uh, we typically see between 350 to 400 people actually come through our, our doors here day. at Public Works, an awesome day. And uh, unfortunately, we can't do that with the, with the social distancing. So uh, next week, what I'll be doing is a uh, virtual tour, which I'll set up the vehicles and everything like that and kind of talk to you about some of the vehicles and the essential services that they do provide for the city. Just like the kids would be here in person, we're going to do it on a video. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, this is a great opportunity for us to be here at Public Works to celebrate the men and women who provide awesome service to our community. We in Bettendorf really pride ourselves in providing great service to our citizens, and it starts with Public Works. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, speaking of May, we're going to do a Memorial Day celebration, but that will also be virtual. So look for our virtual Memorial Day celebration coming to you soon. Until we see each other again, please stay six feet apart and symptom-free.